Meet Thomas Green Blind Tom Wiggins. Thomas Wiggins was born blind and enslaved near Columbus, Georgia, but he became one of the most famous American entertainers of the 1800s. The Bethunes, who enslaved Wiggins and his family, had seven children who played piano and sang. When he was only four years old, he began to play back the music he heard the Bethune children play on the piano. James Bethune could see that Wiggins was very talented, so he paid for his piano teachers. Wiggins performed public concerts around Georgia and eventually throughout the country. At 11 years old, he was already so famous that he became the first African American to be invited to perform for the president at the White House. Wiggins was likely autistic, but that medical term did not exist yet to describe his behavior and his skills. He could play back music he'd only heard once, play difficult pieces with his back turned, and play three pieces at once. He would play one with his right hand, one with his left hand, and sing the third, and they were in different key signatures. He also wrote his own music, which often used musical effects that mimicked sounds he heard in everyday life, such as rain, wind, and a sewing machine. Even though the end of the Civil War in 1865 should have freed all enslaved African Americans, the Bethunes found ways to keep legal and financial control of Wiggins. They kept all of the money he earned from playing thousands of concerts. Even so, Wiggins was able to create striking and unique music. His creativity went farther than other composers would go until the mid-1900s. Please enjoy The Boy with Axles in His Hands, composed in 1866 by Thomas Green Wiggins. <laughs> 